1984 Kasner graduate Charlotte Kirk Bear launched her wide-ranging career at the Kansas City Zoo. She's now serving as a national program leader for animal nutrition and production at NIFA, the National Institute for Food and Agriculture. When I found out that she had graduated from Oklahoma State University in animal science, I thought, well, this is, this is good. <laughs> no brainer, we're gonna bring Charlotte back and let people know what she's done. We'll talk about Charlotte's remarkable career in a minute, but first, let's look at a pivotal moment freshman year, 1980. It was in the Intro to Animal Sciences class taught by Professor Don Wagoner. It seems that Charlotte had been, well, skipping class. After about 10 days, I walked into class and she was standing near the front door and I said, well, Charlotte, we missed you. We're sure happy to see you back. Welcome back. If I can help you, let me know. Charlotte admits that she wasn't taking college very seriously. Dr. Wagoner didn't know until just recently the positive effect he had had in her life. And then she told the story about missing class and knowing her name. And she was shocked that I knew her name, knew that she was missing class. Well, she said she was going through homesickness, being away from home, big school, hard to adapt. But I could also tell she was incredibly bright. After that, she didn't miss any more class. Charlotte graduated and began her career at the zoo, where she discovered a love for animal nutrition and wildlife conservation. Before she joined the USDA, she served as a director at the prestigious National Academy of Sciences. Her work in ag policy includes developing the renowned National Animal Nutrition Program. And many ag students across the country find Charlotte in the classroom. Charlotte's textbooks are, are seminal works being used by veterinary practitioners across the country. Her Encyclopedia of Animal Sciences is, is uh, the gold standard for a lot of animal science uh, courses in the country. Her real love was actually wild animals in captivity and how to care for them and how to manage them in, in, in zoos. And so that was another one of her books that's become uh, a really important text for practitioners. No doubt the biggest challenge she's faced in her career was September 11, 2001. When a crisis happens in Washington, D.C., the first thing they do is the policymakers and people in the government will reach to, reach to the subject matter experts and ask them immediately, tell us now what we should do. It was a, a phase shift or a paradigm shift in our thinking about food safety from wait, someone could actually intentionally cause harm to the food system. And Charlotte is the kind of person that can, that they would reach to and ask her, so what does this mean in terms of the agricultural homeland? She directed the first comprehensive study on countering ag bioterrorism in the wake of 9-11. She was the right person at the right time to be able to answer those questions. She wouldn't have been able to do that if she had not studied and stayed with it and just kept, kept studying until she was ready to go. Then I uh, am just proud of her and proud of her many accomplishments and grateful for having been a part of her career. And we're very happy to have her as an example of what comes from the education that we provide at Oklahoma State. Charlotte Kirk Bear, a 2018 Kasner Distinguished Alumni.